Hey, what's going on guys? Coach Austin here from PT Square. Want to show you guys three simple exercises to help with plantar fasciitis. First, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about plantar fasciitis, what it boils down to. Simplistic, simplistically put, let's break down the word. Plantar fasciitis. Itis being inflammation, okay? Any kind of disease that ends with itis, which is a whole heck of a lot of them, are because of chronic, typically, inflammation. Inflammation tends to be good when it's uh, when your body's overproducing those cells to attack that area. It tends to cause pain, especially long-term. Typically, it's because of our diet, okay? We'll go into that in a whole other video. But the, the inflammation through the fascia, what that is is basically just the inflammation through the, the surrounding tissue of the muscle, okay? If that fascia, if we can kind of break it up, typically we can decrease that inflammation and help ease the pain. Plantar being just the bottom of your foot. So with that being said, a lot of uh, doctors and physical therapists and physicians would diagnose plantar fasciitis and the patient thinks it's a death sentence. They think they now have a disease that they'll have to live with, okay? I know a lot of people come to me with plantar fasciitis and think, hey, this is just something I deal with. It's something that you're dealing with now, okay? I want to word it that way. It's something that you're dealing with now. There is, There are ways to overcome it and to decrease that pain. So, with that being said, we're going to start with just some stretches, okay? We're going to start with three simple stretches. I want you, if you're dealing with, with plantar fasciitis, if you're dealing with just foot pain, maybe it was diagnosed with that or not, I, I need you to be doing these three exercises every single morning, every single evening. And there's more. Don't get me wrong. There's a ton more, but we're going to keep it simple and just go over three. Same thing that I tell people with lower back pain. Typically, when your lower back is getting tight, majority of the time, it's not because your low back muscles are overworked. It can be, but the majority of the time, it's because your glutes, your hamstrings, or your hips, just overall muscles that connect to your hips, are over time pulling on your back, okay? That's the same thing, for the most part, for your foot pain, okay? For your plantar fasciitis. A lot of the time, it's your calf muscles being tight and pulling on that Achilles, which pulls on all the tendons through the bottom of your feet, through the bands that, that go through your feet. Uh, again, simplistically put, I hold my balance, we have a band across the middle and across both the sides, okay? So simplistically put, there's those three bands that we need to decrease the tension and break up that fascia. So because of that, I'm gonna show you three simple stretches to help with your calves. It's gonna be calf stretches. Do these morning and night, especially in the morning. I know a lot of people usually, when they if they experience it, it's right when they wake up. Their body hasn't been moving. Their blood is going to attack the area to try to help heal it, right? And so what we always say is motion is lotion up here, okay? The more you move, the better you feel. So because of that, it's right when you wake up that you typically feel the most pain. In the morning, you want to be gentle going into these, but it's going to be one of the best times. So we're going over to the wall first. First thing I want to do is a wall stretch, okay? We're going to go up to the wall. Put both hands up on it like you're getting arrested. Just kidding. Uh, drive that back heel towards the ground. That back leg is the one that you're wanting to stretch and feel the most tension to. Drive that heel towards the ground. Maybe it's touching. Maybe it's not. So you should be feeling this all throughout the top of the meat of your calf. Hold that for about 30 seconds. This is one of the same. This next one doesn't count uh, as a different one. But bend that knee in. You can do the same stretch. Bend that knee in, and then you should feel that stretch all through the Achilles. Okay, try these right now. Tell me they don't feel amazing, whether you deal with the pain or not. Second, okay, spin out 30 seconds on each of those on each side. Second, what I like to give people is a down dog through, uh, through a calf stretch. So down dog, just... Push those hips up towards the ceiling, shoulders away from your wrist. Look towards your belly button, okay? This is just a good downward dog. This is amazing for everything. But what makes it more of a calf or a cues or foot stretch is you bend in one knee. Now all the pressure is on that opposite side, okay? That one knee is bent, all the opposite load is taken, or the opposite leg is taking the load. So do the same thing to the other side, pushing those shoulders back. That will give a good stretch through your hamstrings, but all down through your calf and then through your Achilles. The last stretch I'm going to give you, uh, no, it's not barefoot, okay? I'm doing that for a reason. I, I want your feet to be able to move as much as they can possibly be, be able to move. However, this next one, you probably you might get a little bit more of a stretch with shoes on. You can still do it with, off, with them off. Find a stair or a step. I have one just right here to use it as an example. Let your heel hang off the ball of your foot where you know all your toes connect. 
bottom foot is on, the heel is hanging off, your body weight is pushing and stretching that. So you do a lot less, so it pulls on it differently, okay? You can switch them on up, same thing to the other side. Look, this foot is off, we're just bent for balance, right? But now it's more of a passive stretch, you're just hanging out, your weight is pushing it down. Yes, I can push my hips back and make it stretch more, great. Do what feels good to you, okay? Do what feels good to you. So those are my three stretches to again, target the calf, because a lot of times, majority of the time, these are tight, which pulls on your Achilles, which pulls on your feet. Let me give you one more bonus, one more bonus stretch, okay? To actually target your feet. So this one may or may not feel good, only do it if it feels good or work your way into it, okay? So I call it a knee stretch. We'll sit back, look at my feet. This, this ain't gonna get much stretch. But right here, this is a good stretch for your quads. We'll give it to you for knee pain. However, if you tuck your toes under, and sit up, sit back just the best that you can, okay? The best that you can. Then you'll feel that pull all throughout your actual plantar, all right? All throughout the bottom of your feet. This might get a little bit more detailed, but sometimes it can be a little bit more advanced. Lean back the best that you can. Most people aren't gonna get back here. Most people will have their hands either on the ground or sitting up, okay? So three good stretches plus one to help with that plantar fasciitis, to help with that foot pain so you can make it through a day. 30 seconds each, morning and night, do these for a week, two weeks, and tell me your foot is feeling better, okay? We'll see you guys next week with some more um, exercises that will really break it up. That's not just stretching, that will really break up the fashion. We'll see you then.